Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how you can configure MQTT client device in the Fuxa WebScada to connect with Mosquito MQTT broker. And we have successfully made a connection between Fuxa WebScada and Mosquito MQTT broker. Okay, if you go to Fuxa WebScada and if you go to connection, then here you can see we have successfully established the connection between Fuxa WebScada and Mosquito MQTT broker now here you can see my mqtt explorer which is connected to my mosquito mqtt broker and here is the topic weather and the weather topic has three data temperature humidity and wind speed so in this video we will see how you can subscribe to any topic from fuxa scada and have the tag and have the tag values in the fuxa scada okay so we will see how to subscribe to mqtt topic from the fuxa scada and how to read tag values in the fuxa web scada okay so here is the fuxa web scada editor if i click on this uh, edit device tag then you can see we have three tag available which is the same tag as you can see here temperature humidity and the wind speed okay you can see the value 27 29 24 okay and here also you can match the value 69 61 54 so if you want to do something like this if you want to subscribe to weather topic and if you want to collect or extract the tag values from the json format then how you can do that in the fuxa web scada so that we are going to see in this video here you can see i have extracted temperature humidity and the wind speed from the json format but if you want to do that then how you can do that so let me delete this okay i have deleted everything okay you would like to remove all text yes okay i am going to save the project so project is saved okay if i click on this edit device tag then you won't see any tags here but we want to create the tag so what you can do is click on this plus icon here in the browse topic on the broker you have to provide your topic name so our topic name is weather so i'm going to provide topic name w-e-a-t-h-e-r weather and here you will click on this search button okay so once you click on this search button you will see the weather details here okay i mean your weather topic detail you can click here and uh, here you can see your topic address and here you can see the values but the values are in json format okay you can see values are in json format the it is not the row value so here we have to select the json and then we have to click on this subscribe so once you click on this subscribe okay and once you close this you will see the values will be added here i mean your tag will be automatically created here okay from this json format so this is how you have to create your tag when you have the json kind of payload okay and if you have a regular payload or row value then what you can do is suppose i am uh, publishing some values from here okay suppose my topic is taste topic and i'm going to publish the row value like 66 okay i want to subscribe to this topic in the fuxa scada then what i can do is i can click on this plus icon i can provide my topic name test i can search it let me uh, send some other values okay it is not able to find so what we can do is we can write here test and the value is row type okay and we will add it we will subscribe it and we will close it so once you um, publish the values from here you will get that value here so let me publish the value like 44 you can see the value 44 is available here and it's a row value it's not a json format okay if i change the value to 77 and if i publish then you will see the value 77 is available here okay so this is how you can subscribe to any topic of your mqtt broker either in the json kind of format or either in the row format so whenever your topic is in the json format then you have to select the format json and whenever your topic data is in the row format then you have to select the row format so let me show you again everything okay so you have to click on this plus you have to provide the topic name okay you have to search for it okay you can see it is available here i'm going to select the json format and i'm going to subscribe to all the three values okay so we have subscribed and then after our second topic is test topic and the test topic is a value is in the row format okay and i'm going to subscribe to that too and here you can see everything is available the tag is created i'm going to publish the 77 to the test topic and then 88 okay you can see and uh, the simulator is al already running to publish the uh, weather data continuously at every second so you can see the weather data here continuously at every second 
now you can add this tag in the dashboard to monitor it or you can update the tag values from your dashboard as well okay so i hope this thing is clear to you now in the next video instead of subscribing to any topic we are going to publish the data to any topic okay so when you click on the plus icon we will say subscribe and publish okay so we have tried this subscribe option that we are going to subscribe to any topic and we will receive the data in the fuchs ascada but if the fuchs ascada wants to transfer any data to mqdt broker then how can fuchs ascada do that so that we are going to see in the next video because if you want to convert your modbus data to mqdt data then fuchs ascada can do it okay so if you want to uh, create a converter like modbus tcp to mqdt converter or modbus serial to mqdt converter then fuchs ascada is able to do that so how we can do that that we are going to see in the next video so i hope this thing is clear that how to use fuchs ascada to subscribe to any topic and how to get the uh, tag values okay if your uh, topic data is in the json format then how you can extract the tag value and if, if your topic have the row value then how you can extract it okay so i hope this thing is clear if you still have any question or confusion then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp linkedin or you can send me a mail or comment on this video so we will meet you in the next video and in the next video we will see the publish option in the fuchs ascada that how you can publish your data from another protocol to mqtt broker okay so stay tuned for the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you